down. So, Jadong definitely has an advantage here. He's expanding twice on the left and the right side. However, Sunny has not gotten as far behind as I thought he would be. If he had stuck to trying to, you know, go for a factory build, uh, he would have been further behind because there's no way he would have been able to get that timing attack off that killed off the base on the right side. I was very impressed by that. In fact, um, you know, Jadong uh, expanded earlier than, than he otherwise would be able to, and he paid the price for it, but losing that hatchery. Unfortunately, I still don't think Sunny is in a good enough position to deal with, to deal any kind of real damage here. Here we're seeing Jadon put down the hive. He's not going to try for any kind of, you know, ensnare silliness. Ensnare plus lurker plus ling silliness. Um, not, not especially given the fact that uh, we're seeing a lot of high tech here from um, from Sunny. He's got his tech tree rounded out, so that's not going to work. He's going to go for a standard late game transition here. Going to get defilers, lurker ling at three gas and a fourth uh, mineral only over there. And um, he's got a couple of scourge, so this might be very good here against the science vessels if you decide to uh, do anything about this lurker. It looks like the lurker <laughs> unburled for a second and now burled again. Interesting enough. And oh, looks like the science vessels are going to go over there. And are they going to get picked off? Jadong didn't react in time. He didn't react in time. Came close. Sunny, sweating profusely. Um, you know, he, he's definitely uh, feeling the tension here. For, I mean, he's facing the best Zerg out there. I mean, you know, <laughs> I would not like to be in his seat right now. Actually, I, I would like to be in his seat just to get demolished. Um, you know, it would be fun, though. It's an honor to get demolished by Jadong, I would say. Um, and, and here we're seeing, uh, you know, <laughs> lurkers, just a couple of lurkers out there, but, uh, you know, they're going to get irradiated and pushed back a little. I do expect Jadong to get his defilers out pretty soon, though. And with that with that macro advantage he's got right now, uh, he should be able to do very well against this Mech Marine Force. Plus one Carapace also done for Jadong, probably uh, because he started, he had the Evolution Chamber up and running for a while, I think. There's a the defiler mount. So, we're going to have to see Sunny do some critical damage here with this early push. Well, not an early push, but I guess this uh, timing push here right before the Defiers are done. He's getting radiated off of one of the Lurkers. That's a huge uh, marine, uh, a marine <laughs> skewering there, though. Losing about half his Marine Force. Uh, maybe a third, actually. And uh, just look at that force of Jadongs. Once he gets the Defiers out, there's nothing Sunny can do. Um, he's trying his best here. I don't know where he's at in terms of upgrades. He's probably at plus one attack. Uh, you know, but he's not going to be ahead of Jadong, certainly. And uh, Consumes can be done soon. And we're going to probably see some Savior-esque uh, late-game play here with the Defilers, of course, and the Lurkers. Um, and he might actually go for a break without Defilers. I would recommend against that, though, Jadong. We've seen so many Zergs with apparent, uh, you know, great superiorities in Force losing when they run head-on into... Um, at late game turn force though without defilers that's just so critical um and here we're seeing oh i see what he's doing he's getting the lurkers to try to deny reinforcements and oh man sunny with poor control there loses both of his science vessels oh wow if that if it wasn't gg before i gotta say this has got to be game soon um Lurkers coming from behind and from front, although, although, uh, Jadong it has gotten himself into sort of a, uh, a contained position here. Um, we're seeing Lurkers going in from behind with Jadong. Is this going to be enough, though? Uh, just three tanks left. All the Marines are going down, but the Lurkers are going down also, and Jadong looks like he hasn't managed to finish off those uh, Marines inside of his base with that from that dropship. Jadong needs to unburl those Lurkers to get him closer. The spawning pool goes down. Marines are going to go down now. Uh, dropship might go down to some Scourge, but I don't think this was enough damage at all. However, some reinforcements in the form of a couple of medic marines are coming out for Sunny. Sunny desperately fighting. Uh, he knows he can't let the first Dark Swarms come out, um, but the Hive is actually in the front location for Jadong. He might lose his Hive if he can't reinforce, and there's no Lings that can be produced, of course, because uh, the Spawning Bull has gone down, and Jadong running forward with some Cracklings, though. The Cracklings are still just so powerful against those couple of medic marines. Creep Colony trying to go down. It's not going to be able to make it into a Sunken, though. Where's Lurkers? Jadong needs lurkers right now. I don't know where his lurkers are, and Sunny could be coming back from a huge deficit and, and make a crazy comeback in this game. This is absolutely insane. The legend killer suddenly looks scared. I mean, this would be on the almost on the level of Reach coming back in that crazy game, um, you know, where he was supposed to lose against a huge Zerg player. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Hoja, who at the point was so far ahead. Jadong, where are his? Defilers, I just don't know what's going on. He should have Defilers at this point and more Lurkers. Um, and he just has two Lurkers. Science Vessels are spotting. Uh, Scourge out. Oh, man. I mean, if Sunny didn't lose all those Science Vessels, he might have a chance. That's the third spotting pool that Jadon's had to make. Um, looks like the natural expansion goes down, though. The Hive might go down next. 
Jadong now producing finally from his uh, uh from his other hatcheries around the map. He needs to get defilers. There's the defiler. Is there an irradiate coming though? Where's the irradiate? See if there were science vessels around that might not have gone down. The swarm going down. Is there a second swarm? There is a second swarm. And remember from my quiz with the commentator idol, almost nothing kills uh in the Terran arsenal kills. Um, those things kills those uh, lurkers underneath Dark Swarm. I mean, you need to have a unit nearby even for the splash damage to work. So it looks like another drop coming from Sunny though in the main base. A lurker down though, and uh, that drop ship's gonna go down. Couple Marines, four Marines, not gonna work here against Jadong, who has just perfect lane control. They're getting a good surround on those uh, eight medic Marines. Looks like the attack has failed, and Jadong has managed to hold on to his hive. I gotta say. Um, oh my god, I gotta say, Sunny, man, I mean, I am just so sad because he actually had a, a, a very, very well-timed attack there, and he actually was very smart in getting the uh, tech buildings of Jadong, but if he just managed to save his uh, science vessels, he, he could fight back, and he could have had a, you know, he could be at an advantageous position here, but he once again has lost every one of his science vessels, so that means no mass irradiate for him, you know, that means that the defilers are all going to live to reach the front lines, it's going to mean that all the lurkers are going to live, it's going to mean no detection, you know, no um, active detection, all those horrible things for, for Sunny here. Um, Sunny at plus two plus one. He's trying to put up an expansion on the left side. Didn't go up. There's another defiler coming out for Jadong, and uh, Jadong still having problems in his natural, of course. Uh, you know, in fact, I got a I got a remark on the fact that uh, Jadong's only at two gas. Also, so we do have to remember that even though it's only one expansion, um, Jadong is only at two gas. Two gas on two gas. Not a good position for Zerg. So if Sunny can get his act together, if he can just turn on the boxer mode, um, you know, and just just well, actually boxer loses all of his science vessels. All all the time so never mind if you can turn on flash mode right now just for a few minutes you know just turn on that 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 terminator flash mode he could win this game still and uh looks like jadong has managed to once again catch the reinforcing army very very smart use of his use of, uh, use of his uh, armies there you know and uh <clears throat> here we're seeing the Manic Marine not able to be effective here. Caught in the back of the Mineral Lines at the Natural Expansion. We're going to see another Swarm and some Lings come in and some Lurkers. That's going to be enough to polish off this small force here. So that is not going to do anything. Um, good try from Sunny, but I got to say his attacks are going to start petering out if he doesn't manage to be more successful. And another Science Vessel gets scourged. Oh man, I mean, this guy is like the hyuk of Science Vessel loss. I mean, it is just so disappointing to watch. Um, you know, and this is the difference. I mean, that separates a good player or a, you know, a average player like Sunny from a good player, from a great player. Um, you, you know, he has good timing. He actually has decent game sense, very good game sense, but he just lacks some basics. Um, you know, and you need both uh, the basics down and the, the strategy down in order to win as a top player. And this is what Sunny lacks. He lacks the ability to save his science vessels. And, uh, you know, uh, if, you know, it's just it's just so hard to win without them um, in, in a late game here. And here we're seeing Jadong expanding once again at the right side. Although, you know, this is only his third operational gas, so he's really not that far ahead. However, um, it doesn't seem like Sunny, ha to be absolutely honest, has the game control necessary to defeat Jadong. He just doesn't have the micro necessary, um, you know, to, to put it quite frankly and, and quite succinctly. Uh, and, and, you know, that is going to cost him the game. So he's getting forced back here. Jadong, of course, um, has managed to keep most of his defiers alive. And see, there, there's another unnecessary, completely unnecessary um, science vessel loss there. Science vessels weren't going in for an irradiate raid or anything like that. They were just hanging out in front. So, uh, you know, here we're seeing production slow down also for Sunny because he's mined out at his main, probably close to mine out as natural. He desperately needs those resources from that left side base, but he's getting pushed back steadily from his uh, contained position. Another science vessel gonna go down. That has got to be like the eighth or ninth. I've been counting. That's maybe the ninth science vessel loss of the game. Um, and, you know, that is just, just tragic here for the Terran player. Even though I generally don't have sympathy for the Terran, I feel.